What's the sluttiest thing you've done? I was bartending and told her older. Not very attractive woman I'd go home with her if she tipped me well. I was 22. She was easily in her mid to late 40s and she tipped me and the other bartender $200. I did as promised. That's just pros teach you chun with extra steps. I once left two buttons unbuttoned at the top of my shirt instead of just the regular one. Or, You probably shower naked you slut. In college I was making out with a girl who I was friends with on the way back from the bar to her place. And I was planning on hooking up with her that night. Back at her house there are about 10 of us hanging out and I'm sitting on the couch with my arm around her shoulders. I get a text from one of the other girls who lives there and who had gone to her computer to order Jimmy John's for everyone that says come upstairs. So I did. I walk into her room. She closes her laptop and says we have 15 minutes before Jimmy John's gets here. I said okay and we had six. Sorry. Katie. Met a chick from back in the AOL days at a public park. Was ducking her in the ass. I mean dropping back a foot. Ramming it and she's loving it. It was around dusk and off in the distance I notice a man about 30-40 yards away jacking it. So I stop. She starts asking why I stopped and reaching back trying to pull me back in and I'm like there's some dude watching and she goes it's okay. It's my husband he likes to watch. Don't stop, I finished. Met a guy on Tinder and invited him over 20 minutes later. He ended up leaving mid 6 after admitting he had a girlfriend. Whoops. When I was in college. I worked at a day spa and did massage. As a guy. I only massaged women. But there was nothing I wouldn't do for a nice tip. Anything a woman asked me to do or directed my hand to do. I did. Anyway, a customer asked about me making a house call and offered me cash to make it. She was 60 plus and I was 20. The slutty part was that she offered me 30 bucks. So I had 6 with a grandma for 30 dollars. Not my finest moment. Had 6 with 2 of my exes on the same day and went home with someone else. Had 6 with a girl after knowing her for only 15 minutes. She even gave me a fake name. Did now 6 with a girl I met on adult friend finder. Picks did not match. Still smashed anyway. My brain said abort. But my whiner said stay. 3 stroke 10 would not recommend. Just remember. The people commenting are not as hot as you think. One time as I was picking up my food from the drive through The wind blew something in my eye and I accidentally winked at the cashier. On a road trip matched with a girl on Tinder. Stopped by her place and banged it out while my buddy waited in the car. Had 6 with 7 guys at one sat a bathhouse. You can't compete with gays on this. Hosted a swingers party. With 6 couples. Had 6 with every woman at the party. Had a hookup with a girl from a pre-Facebook social media site. Later that same day I had a threesome planned with one of my best friends and a girlfriend that really wanted to get reamed by two dudes. I felt really slutty. Succeeded a triple threat challenge. Three dates in one night with six. I was expecting failure. Would never do again. The amount of anxiety was not cool. At age 11. I got to third base with the 16 year old babysitter. Told my wife the story as an adult and she was horrified that I was used by someone like that. 11 year old me was ducking stoked. Still don't know how to feel about it. This probably also doubles as a life pro tip. What I do when the bartender cuts me off for being too drunk or running out of money as I camp out in the bathroom and give blow jobs for drinks. I blow a guy and he is supposed to get me a drink. Granted only usually a third of them follow through but I still get a lot of drinks. My wife said we'd have six if I did the dishes. Once let a hot girl climb onto my shoulders at a concert. She said I was a good friend for doing that. I had six in a car. In the high school parking lot. When I was an adult. We threw the used condom on the ground afterwards. I still feel guilty about that. Who wants to find a used condom when they get out of their car to go to school? 
My first time ever seeing boobs was as a 14 year old when my friend's 18 year old hookup asked me to put my hands on them. We then awkwardly made out while he watched. I blow a dude for a bootleg DVD of Benjamin Button. I had a girlfriend was into going out and finding another girl to go with us. One night we were in the city. And met a pretty blonde who was down for it. Seeing how were we away though. We hoped over to a nearby. Rather glitzy hotel. As I was checking in. The woman at the counter asked will there be. Three people in the room. I follow her eyes back to the two women waiting here in lobby and said. Unless we want to make it four. She laughed nervously. And showed up at the room at about 1am. Three guys in one night on New Year's Eve after I left my long term ex on Christmas Eve. One of them had a girlfriend. Yeah. Post breakup 6 doesn't fix anything or feel good. Went to a Tinder date and spent the night at his place. On the first date. Luckily he didn't hell or grate me. And were coming up on one year in about a month. I went on reddit and asked questions and jerked off to the responses. I also have my friends post questions and then I watch them jerk off. Hi OP. Sitting alone in a McDonald's at 3am in the morning because that's the kind of lonely guy I was. In comes a party chick in a tight mini dress and slutty makeup. Walking barefoot with heels in her hands. She comes up and asks if I had any chicken nuggets. I reply no but I'll buy her some if she wants. 30 minutes later we're out back and she's got my big dig in her mouth. Stopping occasionally to eat a chicken nugget. Ever had a BJ from a girl eating chicken nuggets? Feels weird man. But. But weird. Had a threesome with my now husband and an internet friend 3 hours into meeting said friend for the first time. Went abroad. Matched a guy from Tinder. Invited him to my ad and band slept with him all in the same day. Next day did the same thing with another Tinder match. The day after that. Slept with the first guy again. It was a good trip. I've been a civilian. I've enlisted. And I've been a federal worker. I just wanted to see how many different ways the government could duck me. After I left my husband I was struggling to get by financially and an older man in his 60s offered me $300 to have sex with him. Despite the nearly 38 year difference in age. He was pretty handsome and I hadn't had sex in months so I agreed. The sex was amazing and I could afford rent that month. I ducked a lady in the Azra who was cheating on her husband as revenge for his affairs and came inside her as. Going outside to get the mail while lazily dressed in only my bra and panties. I'm mildly horrified about the way we used to talk to each other online. Pre about 1995. That was before anyone really realized that anything you put online might be forever. Had sex with 3 different girls in 24 hours. Both of these are not me. Had a college roommate that would pull some butchish women. Not my type. But it got to the point that once he came home with a girl I knew what was gonna happen and head out to the couch. One time he comes to the couch and whispers to me don't worry man we aren't gonna do anything you can come back into the room and I come in eventually. We had a bunk bed where I was the top. And it was very obvious that he just straight lied to me and stuff went down. He eventually kept apologizing to me about it weeks after and I was always like it's fine let's not talk about it. Another college friend was me. But as he got more drunk he leaned more towards the gay side. At a party he came to the party with a girl. But eventually got drunk. Was like getting blown or something in the bathroom. And then left the party with a guy. Felt a bit bad for the girl but she ended up sleeping with some other person after the party as well. Stolen housemate's Tinder date. Got drunk and slept with her. Only time I've regretted sleeping with someone. My record is 10 guys in one day. I was traveling alone and that particular day the weather was really shitty and I didn't feel like going out. Praise Grinder. I hook on the side. Trying to pay down a mountain of debt. But it's not my main job. Let a guy I've known for about 20 minutes lick my asshole. Dressed as a girl and sold my ass to a gay man for and money. Happened several times. 
had 6 sexual activity with 4 different friends in a 5 day run. One person a gay friend on 2 different days that week. I was single at the time. XGF gave me 9 BJs in about a 7 hour period. I was sore for 2 weeks. Was on an internship in Germany and went to a rural part north of Munich that a female friend invited me to. It was a barn festival with about 100 locals, including the girl that brought me. Myself and a random cute blonde Austrian girl. Names get tossed around. I forget all of them. While completely wasted on wheat beer. I walked with the Austrian girl around the perimeter of town. Made it about two blocks before making out with her in some random person's driveway. This soon progressed to the point where I was up. Exploring the area between her thighs with both our pants around our ankles. Trying to get it on in the middle of a stone driveway. You'd think it would have a happy ending. But like a sitcom. The owners pulled in the driveway just as we were about to perform and honked their horn. I didn't speak German. They didn't speak English. We awkwardly put our clothes on and wandered off where I promptly threw up behind a van. Then I lost her and never saw her again or even remembered her name to ask about her. Shame because we really hit it off before the alcohol hit me. Set up a gang bang for my friend's birthday. Unfortunately he got sick right before. So it will ver be no fun for anyone. But everyone was already there. And it would have been pretty rude to ask them all to leave. So. I duck 6 co-workers. 4 were at the same time. My family, including my ex, went on a driving trip to a city that was like 3 hours away. My catholic family went to see mass at this giant touristy church and my ex and I decided to go wait in his car in the church parking lot. Out of boredom we decided to do it doggy style on the back seats white it poured rain outside. My family showed up 5 minutes later. When I was working at renaissance fair, F24. 18 back then. I had to flirt a lot to make sales. I was flirting with this lady, 25ish, and she said she would buy something from me for a kiss. I leaned over the counter and kissed her. She then bought $600 worth of pewter, each thing was $150 minus $300, from me. I once slept with a girl that I wasn't really that into because I was out of cigarettes and knew she both had cigarettes and loved smoking after 6 was with my boyfriend at a bar. He was talking to two guys who I thought were pretty cute. One of them called me hot. My boyfriend told them my pussy was the prettiest part about me. And I was super tight too. One thing led to another and they were paying my boyfriend $20 each to see just how tight I was. So we went to a booth. And each guy got to pull my skirt up. Pull my panties to the side. And put their fingers in me. It didn't even really hit me until we were walking home just how slutty it was to have two complete strangers finger me in public. For money. Over the course of a year I had sex with a gal. Had a one night stand with her mom. Then had sex with the first gal and her sister in a threesome. Then kept having sex with each sister separately for another 6 months. Not just slutty. But scummy. I was a scummy person 25 years ago. Went to a glory hole. Busted in 5 minutes. On the way home. A girl I was talking to from Bumble HMU on Snapchat and invited me over. Went home. Showered. Had a beer. Went to her place and ducked her. One time while my college dorm at was away for a weekend. I ducked a girl in his bed. I didn't mean to. We were just using it as a couch to watch a movie when she started touching me. Washed everything on the bed twice and put it back immediately after. The next day he yelled at me for an hour because the comforter was pushed to the end of the bed. I don't want to imagine what would have happened if he knew everything that happened there. Still feel bad about that. Definitely one of the grosser things I've done. The Eiffel Tower. I was the one in the middle. Went to a strip club with a couple friends on one of their 21st birthdays. I am getting a lap dance. Which turned into 3 songs and I mentioned something along the lines if I am broke and I don't think I can get any more dances. She said just pay me whatever you can or something to that effect. 
One or two songs later she says I really want to duck you. I replied I really want to duck you too. She reaches into my basketball shorts, yeah. I'm a classy gentleman club attendee. Pulls out my big dick. Moves her panties to the side and slides me inside her. I had been drinking. But I was not drunk. Immediately following the thought of how good that felt were thoughts of being inside of a stripper without a condom. Also the fact that we really were not very hidden at all. This was on a couch along a back wall. It was very dark. But still. People were walking past occasionally and sitting nearby. It was pretty uncomfortable. But a huge turn on at the same time. I got tested the following Monday and again a year later because they said it might be too early to test for some things. For a few weeks. Every time I peed. Any sort of abnormality would freak me out. Edit. Thanks for the gold. I'm glad my sluttiness could bring some joy to all you slut lovers.